I need to talk about something that is, in my opinion, one of the most dangerously overlooked aspects of chronic autoimmune care. It's something that for anyone with dry mouth, whether it's related to Sjogren's disease, medications, or anything else, is completely non-negotiable. Our healthcare system pretty stupidly separated the mouth from the rest of our body decades ago. And by creating this artificial divide between medical and dental, uh, we have created a whole host of problems. I'm here to tell you that the separation is not just inconvenient, it is actively harming our health. Let's be crystal clear. Your mouth is not just for smiling and for eating and for social interaction. It is literally where your immune and nervous systems start their first security check on everything coming in from the outside world. It is the first place where digestion starts as well. It's the gateway. Think about it. Your saliva, it isn't just water. It is a complex fluid packed with enzymes that begin digestion and contain powerful antimicrobial, antimicrobial proteins that are your first line of defense against bacteria and viruses. It's constantly washing away debris and neutralizing acids that would otherwise destroy our enamel and our teeth. When you have dry mouth, also known as xerostomia, that entire first line of defense collapses. Without adequate saliva, harmful bacteria are free to multiply. We call these uh, sugar bugs in our house, courtesy of our pediatric dentist. And this doesn't just lead to cavities and gum disease. It creates a state of chronic inflammation right at the entrance to your body. Every time you swallow, you're sending that inflammatory signal down your digestive tract, potentially contributing to gut dysbiosis and a whole cascade of other health issues. Your mouth is where the defense and digestion processes begin. Investing in your oral health isn't about vanity. It's about fighting systemic inflammation and investing in your future self.